I know you believe that you are supposed to make a bunch of money, be able to go home when you want. You believe that the DM is, 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 he doesn't like you. That's why you don't get to go home. Or, or, you know, there's no problem, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to go home every two weeks. This is another thing that I've said before. So, I feel like, uh, excuse my tone, because I feel like I'm repeating myself. You have no reason to come into my inbox or my comment section and ask, well, TV, how much should I be going home at my OTR company? The reason why you shouldn't have to come into my inbox or in my comments and ask me that question is because the company should have told you. And I feel like the company has told you how much they want you to be out and you're trying to find some other way of, of, of going home. If the company's not what you're looking for, you need to go to another company. When you went into orientation and they were talking about how much uh, home time and their rules of how many miles a week and how many times you go home, they told you right there. They probably told you something like this. They said, well, hey, listen, um, you, you know, you, you probably want to go home. And, uh, oh, going home's not a problem. You know, uh, we could get you home around every two weeks. Now, let's analyze this, 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 this sentence because apparently a lot of you are taking this to heart. This sentence is what you call telling you no without really saying no. If he says he can get you home around two weeks, he means three to four. So if you ask to go home in two weeks and he doesn't do it, he'll be able to fall back on is if it was able to do it or, or it's not home time isn't guaranteed you're gonna hear that one pretty much if you're at an OTR company they're looking for four weeks that's that's pretty much what they're looking for regardless if they're gonna tell you because they don't want to blow you out they want you to get in the truck get used to the money get used to the process and then not want to uh, leave that's what they want to happen but you know it does not always work that way. But that's that's pretty much what they want. Even if they don't come up to you directly and, and tell you that. There's a million reasons why four weeks is the minimum. And if they do let you go home, they're getting their loads ran and you're missing payments. What I mean by that is a lot of these places have mile restrictions on your bonuses. Mile restrictions. Yes, yes. Say okay, let's say if you're averaging 2,500, that's 5,000 miles every two weeks. That's what we'll call it 10,000 miles a month. Okay, they'll put something in there. Well, if you hit the mile marker, that'll let you be eligible to get the uh, uh, completion bonuses and the fuel bonuses and the safety bonuses. The reason why they put that in there because if you go home that makes you exempt because you're not going to hit the mile marker you're going to do 2500 2500 these are layman numbers they're not perfect and then you're going to go home they're going to run you to get you home on that second week you probably only hit 1700 miles that week you come back out probably hit 1800 miles the next week the last week you hit 2500 well that means you fell short so that bonuses just won't show up. Then you'll be the person who says, well, I, they don't give out those bonuses. Those That's not real. And they are real. It's just that, A, you didn't read your, your book. You didn't read your pay scale, wherever they have that at. You didn't read it. And you are falling out of the area you need to be in to get that bonus. You're also falling out of favor. 
because you you're going home too much. Now, this runs for lease drivers too because I've known lease drivers that you know will work at a company that's paying them well and the company is running OTR and they try to get home every other week, every week, every time you look up their home. They're going home and they're complaining about not making money at the same time. You are trying to use a hammer. You're trying to cut your nails with a Ginsu knife. Pretty much. You're using the wrong tool for what you're trying to get done. You understand that? The wrong tool for what you're trying to get done. What you're trying to get done you need to you need to be at a company that runs that way and there are a lot of companies that do there's a lot of companies that make you go home every two weeks like there or every weekend their 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 accounts aren't even set up for you to be out like that period but you're not at that company so now you're over here with the ginsu knife trying to cut nails and it isn't working out. And you're blaming it on the DM. You're not at the right place. So, what is my advice for how much you should go home if you're at a true OTR company? Now, I'm going to give it to you for someone who's just trying to run, get their check, and live a regular life. Uh, as close to regular as you can have it in this industry. And I'm going to give you a one for someone who's trying to get money. Okay? Neither one is better than the other. You just pick which one is good for you. All right. Um, you just want to run, go home for four days, run, go home for four days. Four weeks. Usually these companies go on out for a week, home one day. Meaning if you run four weeks, you go home for four days, forget about it. You come back. All right. You can't run two weeks, then go home for five days. Which I know y'all are doing. <laughs> like, you can't tell me that's not happening. That That is a regular occurrence. You go out two weeks, go home for four days. Oh, something happened. I won't be able to come back for two more days. Something happened. I won't be able to come back for a day. You end up being one of those people. No. Then there's the guys who I'm trying to see as much money as the company can offer me. You, you need to be out eight weeks at a time. Oh my God, can you imagine the comments right now, honestly? You need to be out for eight weeks at a time. So if you're looking at this and saying, I'm TB, I'm trying to get this money out here, I'm trying to, you need to be out for eight weeks at a time. And that's minimum. That's not like you did something great. That, that's like the bare minimum. You're just making it. Four weeks at a time, let me tell you why. When you come off of home time, you're in a position where the low, you're not, you're not in what I call the matrix. You're not in the matrix yet. So when you leave the matrix, when you go home, you fall out of what we're going to call the trucking matrix. Now there's a computer, and I don't know exactly how it works, but this is what I, I think is going on. The computer runs your truck. Now some companies have softwares that kind of get to know you, and some don't, right? They're just random. But you're in this put it this way you live here their loads are going in this way in a, tri in, a in a triangle situation and you live way over here in scoop bucket mississippi or wherever you live usually where you live ain't in that triangle sometimes sometimes you look out and be one of them people who live right there in atlanta and it's like they just they just hop back into the matrix that isn't usually the case so now he has to find you sometimes this could be speculation here someone explain it to me and let me know how off i am i don't mind you jumping in the comments and say yeah you're kind of close you're kind of not he he's probably going to find you a broker load that's gonna uh, if your lease is going to pay crap if your company the times are going to suck and the place is not going to be what you're used to running at there's going to be a crappy yard people are going to be rude you're going to go to to jim jamboree's you know tire cap service and you're going to pull into there and they're going to have one guy there running the whole dock and then he's going to take forever or not be there or whatever. So now you're waiting, you're losing time. You'll be telling yourself, I could have stayed home for this. And you're going to be mad. But then you finally get that load. That's going to take you 
Hopefully it takes you into the Matrix. So hopefully it takes you from Scoop, Scoop Bucket, Mississippi, right, up to about, up to Birmingham, Alabama, because let's say the triangle's from Atlanta to Baton Rouge. You can at least go up to that highway that the Matrix is on. Now, you're not in the Matrix yet. You're not. Now you got to get a random load from there to either one of the points of the matrix for you to jump into what that what i like to call their contract loads the loads they're running all the time that they have with walmart or whoever where they just uh, just unlimited loads they're just trying to run as many as they possibly can then you're going to take another jimbo jamboree something something from there maybe from 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 there to uh maybe to atlanta or maybe they'll send you to uh we'll call it texas right then you get that load if you're if you're a lease operator, this load is also gonna suck. It's not gonna it's gonna be heavier than sin, and it ain't gonna pay crap. All right? Then you gotta jump on that that load. You're gonna run that on down. When you drop in Texas, probably where one of your mega carrier terminals is at, and they got a a crap load of accounts there. That's probably why they put a terminal there in the first place. You're gonna go there, drop that load off, and then they're gonna hit you with one that is in the matrix. Now, this one, if everything goes the way it should, it usually, you pick up there and it drops you in another place that they're comfortable with or whatever. So you'll go from there and let's say their other part of the matrix is Pennsylvania, which it usually is. Everybody's like, yeah, I usually always go to PA. They're going to send you to Birmingham or Piston or, 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 or something like or Carlisle or something like that. So you'll go from Dallas to Carlisle, then you'll, if you're paying attention, you'll realize my reload was quick. My reload was quick. Now, the week's kind of done because it took you three, four days to get into, to get all the way, to get to where you need to get to, to even get into the Matrix. So now you're in the Matrix now. So now they hit you to Carlisle, that joint dropping hook, boom, they got another one six miles away you need to pick up, and it needs to either go to Atlanta or Florida, or it needs to, to, to go back to, 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 to Dallas or Houston. You see what I'm saying? Now this is if their this is if their matrix is this way. So follow me. Please have some intelligence and follow me. So they say, all right, you pick that up, go down to Florida. Boom, you go down to Florida. Bang, you go down to Florida, you drop in Florida. That's gonna pay well going in. Now <laughs> now listen to me here. Don't expect nothing coming out now. Cause that's a lot that's a big rookie mistake. Where you believe that, oh, well, this ain't paying what I want, so I ain't going to take it. Listen, if you dropped in Orlando or Miami or, 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 or one of them places way under Jacksonville, you're not getting crap coming out, bro. This is not your DM's fault. This is not the because of this company. It's not because of none of that. The problem is Florida does not make anything but orange juice and machine guns or something. They don't really make anything. So let me tell you what they're going to do. Most of us have a, well, what I'll call a, a galactic hub relay station for subspace there. And you know the name of it? It's called Tropicana. <laughs> so all the dudes is like, yes, he is right. It's Tropicana. They're going to send you to Tropicana. This is if you're a reefer or something or your, you know, your van. They're going to send you straight to Tropicana. Now, this Tropicana load is going to take you to another point in the Matrix. But it ain't going to pay nothing. Now, listen, I done got them for 92 cents. 44,000 miles. 44,000 pounds. And everybody in this video was like, that, I, I know exactly what he's talking about. Well, I ain't going to take it. That's a mistake. You got to take that heavy load. Now, you got two options here. I ain't going to say you don't take it. Me, I'm taking it. I'm going to take it and get it out of here. Okay? Because usually that load coming in paid so well, it kind of paid for you to get out. But that's if you look at it like that. This is all perspective now. So I'm going to take that load. I'm going to take it immediately because it's an immediate reload and I'm out. So all I got to do is drop that down lower Florida, dead head up, what, 230, 160 miles up. Boom. Pick up that Tropicana, turn and burn. I'm out of Florida that day. Well, I had to drop, spend the night. Then after I dropped, I woke up and I got to the next place and I'm out. That means I'm only in Florida. I drove into Florida. I woke up and got out of Florida. What will happen is if you're a rookie and you don't know no better, 
and you don't know that you just sweet meat on a platter, you're going to deny the load. You're going to deny the load. Because, hey, it probably don't get you home in that second week. Now, remember, if you went home, that first week's a dud. You ain't make no money that week. I don't care what you ain't make unless you just got to awesome. Sometimes you do, but let me, let's me let be real. You ain't make no money that first week because you had to work your way into the matrix. So now that you're in the matrix, you got two options. You can stay there and make a couple checks, or you can run this next week, which is good, or you could tell him, listen, I did the first week, but I need to be home by the end of this week. Now, you just got in the matrix, and you just took yourself out. Because now, he's not going to route the truck to make money. He's going to route the truck to get you home. You understand? So you're going to drop that first matrix load, and he's going to give you a crazy broker load, which gets you back to Scoop Bucket, Mississippi. And now you're, my checks aren't made. I'm not making a lot of money, TB. You worked your way into the matrix and worked your way out of the matrix. And let's, let's look at this as two weeks. You worked your way into the matrix, into the middle of those two weeks. Then you requested to leave the matrix. You got two weeks you didn't make nothing. And then you went home for three, four days. And then you say, that company sucks. No. Because if you would have just ran, right? If you would have just ran for, for four weeks, you would have gotten to the matrix within a week and you would have got three good checks. Right? Then you could have went home at the end of that for four days had some money, take your old lady out, spotting a lorry, you would have been doing good. How much should you go home in understanding the matrix in trucking? Don't do drugs. This is Trucker Brown. Please sub and go to my Instagram at Trucker Brown.